Welcome to my 10th video in a series about shooting rats with an air gun at a dairy in western Washington state. As the picture says, if you take a Benjamin Woods Walker pre-charged pneumatic air gun and add night vision, it does equal dead rats. Lots of dead rats. This video does include images of those rats being shot and killed with the air gun, so if this offends you, Please leave now and find something else to watch. This is the Benjamin Marauder Woods Walker 22 caliber pistol carbine combo. It is at its heart a precharged pneumatic air pistol. It does come with pistol grips when you buy it. It also comes with the shoulder stock you see attached to it now. In this configuration, it is the perfect weapon to hunt rats in close quarters at night. I've equipped it with the Evola T67 infrared LED flashlight which is the light of which is invisible to the rats. It has a Vector Optics Viper Wolf laser sight which is also invisible to the rats. And I've equipped it with a Sony HDR SR11 camcorder which has a night shot feature enabling it to see and record infrared light. An important feature of the camcorder is that it has an electronic viewfinder at the back so that when I shoulder the weapon I can look through the viewfinder much as the same as a rifle scope and I can see the rats and I can see the laser aiming point and it makes a magnificent combination for the work that I'm doing. The LED flashlight is adjustable in intensity. It's also adjust, adjustable by focusing the focus ring behind the bell on the flashlight, which gives you a lot of control over the amount of light that you uh, put on your subject, depending on whether they're close or further away. And the Vector Optics laser sight has green and infrared laser capability and if you're going to shoot in daylight with regular camcorder features you would use the green laser but at night the infrared laser is the desirable one to use. The Viper Wolf laser sight is also very easy on batteries. Overall uh, I'm very happy with it. It's a very good sight. I certainly would buy it again. I have rat tail switches on the flashlight and on the laser sight so I can pulse them on or off by pressing the button or releasing it. As you see the aiming point appears and when I no longer need it, it disappears. Very nice feature. The old tires you see are used as weights to hold down plastic on top of the feed bunkers, keep the wind from blowing it away. In this shot, the opening was just wider than the pellet. The Woods Walker is so accurate, I can confidently make shots like this. This was taken from about 10 yards out.
both of these rats are shot squarely through the head. They're grain shots. But in both cases, you'll see the characteristic kicking, tail motion, flopping around, the nervous reaction that is common to rats, even when they're shot through the brain. I do apologize for the camera motion that you have to experience when you watch these videos. But when I'm searching for the rats and shooting, I have to use the camcorder for those purposes. And as I pan around looking for my targets and acquiring the targets and shooting, you get to see the same motion that I get to see looking through the camcorder. And you don't always get a shot. These guys just wouldn't hold still. But, their neighbors down here, different story. This is about a 30 yard shot. And I do shoot entirely offhand or freehand. Shooting sticks just aren't practi practical in the dairy environment. I move around a lot.
good solid head shot, but not a good hit on the brain. The brain is much smaller than the head, so the rat died very quickly, but it's a good example of uh, when a head shot isn't necessarily a brain shot. Good solid headshot on this guy, another example, but didn't impact the brain. Quickly took a follow up shot and dispatched him cleanly. Not ideal, but it does happen.
This video was shot in June of 2015 and those are the dry months here in western Washington state. Most of the time it's wet, rainy, not like this.
as you can see in this sleeping barn, the rats sleep with the cows. They also go out into the cow manure and glean kernels of undigested corn and other foodstuffs that make it through the cow undigested. It's a perfect habitat for the rats. Except for me. Here I'm shooting from the top of a feed bunker. We're shooting down through an opening in the end of the barn. Plenty of targets, but the population is slowly getting thinned down. More videos later. Thanks for watching.